Hello Team Pisces, it's Empire333 here. Welcome to my channel and welcome back if you're not new. So Pisces, this is your love tarot card reading. First we're going to get into oracles, then we'll get into each person's energies with the tarot cards. And then we will see what advice Spirit has to say about your story, okay? This will not have an extended reading. But if you are interested in a personal reading, all that information is down below in the description box, okay? So Pisces, what I'm getting intuitively is that you're, you're, you are left a situation or you're about to leave a situation, you are in some kind of healing. So this is, this is um, a bit basically clarity. I feel like some of you might have been confused and you're coming out of the confused state that you were in, Pisces, when it comes to a situation, a person. Okay, so um, this is really interesting. Okay, solar chakra. So you you somehow got into your power. Okay, so maybe you felt powerless in this situation, whoever you're thinking about when you watch this reading. So interesting because I got solar chakra. Um, some of you also need to get out in the sun. You know, I'm not saying go lay out for hours, but get out into the sun. You all use the, the, the solar energy, okay? If you're feeling depressed or you're feeling low. And some of you, what I'm getting is like you're going through some heart healing at this time. So let's see what else Spirit wants to say to you, Pisces, before we get into tarot. Oh, look at that. Door to Spirit. So you've opened the door to some kind of healing. I feel like a lot of you, you released someone or you're about to release them. Okay, what is this about? Ooh, you, I love this. All right, Pisces, magician card. So you know what I'm getting? It's like you let someone go, okay? For some of you, I heard they're toxic, okay? Um, whoever you're dealing with, you let someone go and it's like open the door. It's opening the door to so many, so many like blessings for you. It's like now you have the key to healing, okay, is what I'm hearing. You have the key. So you might have like released this person or you're about to, but just if you haven't yet, because this is a timeless reading, okay? If you have not released someone yet and, you know, um, after you do, Pisces, it's going to open up doorways for you. Look at that victory. Okay. So anyhow, it's, it's kind of like the universe blesses you for um, getting into your power is what I'm hearing. Okay. So I'm going to give this a, a shuffle. I already shuffled. I already pre-shuffled. I always do that before because I meditate on your energy, Pisces, but... Let's get into your energy further with a the tarot, then we'll get into your person's energy. Spirit, what energies is Pisces in? Oh, and keep in mind, you all, see? Oh my God, I can't make this up, okay? But before I do that, keep in mind that Pisces, um, this might go the other way, okay? So you could be, um, whatever, vice versa, take it how it resonates, but... See what I was saying? You were at a stalemate. You didn't know which way to go, and you've already made a decision. If you have not made it yet, you're going to make a decision, Pisces. And I feel for a lot of you, it's to leave a situation. Okay? Spirit, tell me more about the Two of Swords. Oof. Oh, my God. What is this? Justice. Okay, I want to see what this is about because... I love it. So, guys, I feel like you were in some type of a karmic, very, like, when I say very karmic connection, um, all relationships, all connections have karma. But when I see this, I feel like this was just an attachment. So it could be like you got used to this person, you got, there was some type of codependency between you two. This person really hurt you. They broke your heart. And at the same time, I feel like you kept 
taking this person back is what I'm hearing. Claire, audiently, you're, you keep taking this person back, even though, Pisces, your, your wishes were not fulfilled with this person. You could have dealt with someone who was selfish, okay, is what I'm hearing. So this contract, yeah, it's, it's, okay, this is what I want to say. You had this person, some of you, you believe that they're your soulmate, your twin flame. They could have been, right? But it's like because you got out of this indecision, you closed the cycle, you closed the con. You close the karmic contract you had with this person, okay? If you haven't yet, you will, okay? Um, I keep hearing that. So some of you have not yet came out of this indecision, like which way do I go? Do I leave them? Do I move on? Because some of you think that if you stay... then things are going to get better, okay? I feel like this person, okay, I just heard love bombing. So they love bomb you. Ooh, look at this. The devil. Did you guys see how that flew out? Okay, this. All right, Pisces, I'm just being real with you. This has karma written all over it. Like, when I said in the beginning, like, toxic, okay, um, I just heard very unhealthy. So I don't know what type of co-dependent connection that you had with this person. But you're releasing it, okay? And I know for a lot of you it's hard. But it's like Spirit is saying you've been in, if you haven't yet, you've been in this for too long, okay? I heard trauma bonding. So this could be a trauma bonding connection. I'm not a professional, but I heard that. I mean, I'm not a um, psychologist here, but this is about you and you like bringing down this tower right here, okay? This is so like, oh my God, like I'm getting goosebumps, Pisces, listen up. You... When you do this, like you have no idea how this, your life is going to turn around because you are fulfilling the contract. You're closing out this karmic cycle, okay? And there's going to be so much change in your life for the better. It's like you're going to be so free. It's like liberating, okay? And there's a new beginning that's waiting for you that's destined. But I feel like this connection, it got in the way, okay? of your destiny okay let's see this the person that you're dealing with what we need to know about them okay Oof. Um, I don't know if some of you, okay, I'm getting a lot of different scenarios. So some of you may be with somebody who was married, okay, and it's like they told you they would end it, but they didn't, okay. Um, for others of you, this person could have promised you something stable, but did not deliver it, okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah, or they could have gone to the past, Pisces. So I don't know how this, I keep getting they didn't deliver. I, I did Scorpio. It's kind of similar, like broken promises. Um. This person, oh wow, this is so, oh my god. You have someone, Pisces, that you both got so comfortable with each other because it, 
it could have been something that was long term or you believed it's going to be long term. But this person now, I feel. Oh, my God, I'm getting so many different scenarios. I just heard they're marrying someone else. Oh. I'm so sorry if that's you. Okay. Okay, this person's energy is like all over the place, okay? And listen, guys, this is not going to resonate with everyone, every Pisces or cross-watcher. I welcome cross-watchers, but I'm getting like a lot of dirty scenarios, okay? Um, dirty scenarios, like somebody changed their mind, they went back to the past, or they went with someone else, or they chose someone else, and now they're resistant towards you, but it's like... This person, for some reason, like, they left something open-ended. So even though they could have broken your heart, there's something open-ended is what I'm getting. Okay? What else do we need to know about this person, Spirit? We will be getting into advice and what else is going on. Okay? Oof. Oh, I don't like this. See, I don't like this together. And I was, I was getting really this person. Um, so seven of cups and seven of swords, seven, seven. Um, this person. Oof. Yeah, this person, whoever you're dealing with, very high in the ego. Um, I feel like this person is like, you know what I'm hearing, Pisces? They sway this way and then they sway that way. So it's kind of like this person could be um, just following their ego. Like whatever pleases them, whoever pleases them, they go towards that person. Okay. Um, very deceitful energy is what I'm getting here yeah so this is somebody who doesn't take okay this is someone who is like um oh okay dual they're saying dual I don't know if you're dealing with a Gemini or someone with Gemini placements but it's like they go, the, like, I, I'm seeing them on the seesaw. Like, okay, let me let me be with Pisces, and then let me, you know, try this, try that. Like, what the heck is this? Um, this person is very, like, they're not responsible. They're very irresponsible, okay? I'm going to call it how it is, okay? I don't care if anybody gets offended here. Because I'm picking up on someone's energy that is, and this person is toxic. This person hides a lot of secrets is what I'm getting. Anything else, Spirit, we need to know? Pisces needs to know about this person. Yeah, so you know what, Pisces? Um, this is what I want to say. The, this person is committed to something else. There's something, someone else in this scene, okay? Whether you know it or not, there's someone else in this scene, okay? And what I'm hearing here is like, this person can't give it all. whether it be you or that person, okay? So why is the King of Cups here? Okay, so... Yeah, there's some... This person is hiding things from you, okay? I, I Like I said, there are secrets. There's things going on within 
this person with whoever there's external forces of other people, okay? And I feel like there's a reason why this person has not. So Pisces, if you don't know what the heck I'm talking about and you're with someone right now and there's a lot of confusion, they could have hurt you, um, whatever, um, and you don't know, like let's say, um, you need to really look into this person's energy, what they're doing behind the scenes because I feel like they're hiding a lot from you, okay? There's a lot of secrets in this connection and there's no clarity. Um, um, and they're also playing checkmate is what I heard. I don't know what that's for, checkmate. So maybe it's like they're trying to see how far you know about the situation. And this person is not willing to invest with you. Just to let you know, for those of you who you're going with someone, this person changes their mind. They keep changing their mind is what they're saying. They're not definite when they make a decision. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to see what else is coming in for you. Um, but first, I want to know what they have to say about the situation or... What energies, I mean, what spirit, what message do you want to give Pisces right now? So Pisces, you had a vision, so you had some type of intent, okay? Like you wanted, you had some type of a vision in general about how a relationship should be they're saying keep holding that but i don't see it with this person okay so it's actually about you making the changes necessary in order to manifest the person that you want in your life okay so let me see what is coming in for you you have to be um really strong and assertive is what I'm hearing to um, make the big changes in your life, okay? So, sorry. So, Spirit, what is coming in for Pisces? If they leave this connection, if they heal, um, release this baggage, release this person, Ooh. Yay. I love it. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so Pisces, I'm seeing you. Okay, and then I'm seeing the Ten of Cups and the Lovers. So I think that after you go through some heart healing... You make changes. So I'm seeing a lot of big changes. So I don't know if you're going to move or you're going to change a job. Hold on. And you're going to get someone who is financially um, independent is what I'm hearing. So I don't know if this person, you, you, you helped them with money or you took care of them and all that stuff. Mm -mm. You're going to get someone who is financially independent they're secure okay i'm not saying that they're rich but they are they can take care of themselves and possibly you a little bit okay so um what i'm seeing is this is going to take some time but let's see yeah so, so Pisces, you're going to go through some time where you heal, where you um, lower your defenses because you're going to have some trust issues with other people um, when they come along, okay? Because you, you have fears and whatnot because of this person. I mean, this is really hard for you. This was a really toxic connection, okay? But... You are you might start a new job is what I'm getting for some of you, okay? So you're gonna be busy, whatnot, and 
you need time for healing is what spirit is saying but a new lover is coming king of swords and the tower Ooh. okay yeah okay guys yeah i see someone coming in and with this person, Pisces, this person, whoever you're going, whoever's coming in, they're going to be very um, clear with everything, okay? They're not going to keep you guessing how they're feeling, what they're doing, whatever. I'm getting someone that's straight out, and this person, whoever they are, will put, the, will put effort, and they will be the type of person who's always in communication with you, okay? Um they will try to prove themselves to you. So I feel like a, a new lover is entering the scene. Okay. Anything else we need to know about this person or Pisces? I heard intellectual. Ooh. Romance. See, this is what I'm feeling, Pisces. Um, you're going to take some time, like I said. And this person is going to have a hard time to charm you. Okay? They're actually naturally charming. But what I'm getting here is that you're going through this whole transformation of um, getting in your power. Okay? Okay? So you're going to be defensive when this person comes around, but just know that take your time. Don't rush things is what I just heard. Don't rush it. Okay. Listen to your intuition. Let your intuition guide you about this person. Okay. Just observe them. See what their moves are, what not. Don't, don't push them out just yet. Magician. Because this person, um, this person could possibly be like your, your end all be all is what I just heard. Okay. So this is big Pisces, but you're graduating like this, this contract, this karmic contract you had with this other person. Okay. So it might take some time for you to heal. Okay, for some of you, I heard at least three months from whenever you watch this video. Anything else? Chariot. Yeah, so some of you are going to move. Or you're going to change jobs, okay, is what I'm hearing. Take it. Take the job. It's going to be a good, um, a good investment, okay? Um, for those of you who are saving money right now, you're doing really good because there's going to be a situation that you'll get, you're like, you're going to be ready for it. So if it's like moving or whatever, keep on saving your money. Okay. Pisces, I hope this helped you. And, um, if you like this video, go ahead and like it. And also, um, let me know in the comments how you resonate. I wish you all the best Pisces. Peace out.